Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to deploy codes on your site if you're using WordPress. We will be using three different plugins in this tutorial. Feel free to choose any, whichever you're comfortable of using. We will explore Add Inserter, Advanced Ads, and Add Funk Head and Footer Code. If you are using an ad exchange tag hard coded on the site, you will only need the body tags and you will deploy it wherever you want them to appear on your site. Your Monetize More account manager will provide you with an async tag and we have a separate tutorial on how we convert this tag to this. Once the tag is converted to async, this is all you have to deploy into the body section of your site. To deploy the code, using Add Inserter, go to Settings, Add Inserter. Grab that code and paste it in here. And you can go ahead and label this. For example, this is your top sidebar add. Then decide on where you want this to show up. So for example, you want this on home page and posts and also on category pages. You can go ahead and do that. And you can insert this before post, before content, wherever you want this ad to show up. So let's say I want this to show up before paragraph one. I can just go ahead and do that and align it center. Once done, I just go ahead and save. Do the same for the rest of your ad exchange tags or AdSense tags for the rest of the blocks here in Ad Inserter. They will show up in the body section of your site and will serve wherever you specified the insertion to be. Next, your Monetize More account manager will also give you a script that you will need to deploy before the closing body tag. Still on Add Inserter, you have that option by clicking on this gear icon, click on footer, and deploy it in there. If you do this, make sure you turn it on. Once done, you can go ahead and click on Save. What about if you're using Google Ad Manager tags or DFP tags? You're going to have a header section or header tag and the corresponding body tags or div IDs for your ad units. Grab your header tag. On Ad Inserter, go ahead and deploy that. Now there are two options in Add Inserter where you can put the tag in the header section of your site. When you go to this gear icon again, go to Hooks, enable the hook name right here, type in any name you want, and then put the action WP underscore head. Once you do that, save your settings. Then on that header code that you deployed, go ahead and specify insertion to the hook. Then select the sections of your site where you want it to serve. Once done, you can go ahead and save. There's another way for you to do this. If you don't want to use the hooks, you can just go ahead and go to the header tab and paste the code in there. And again, make sure it's turned on. Then save your settings. The only difference is that this will show up across all pages of your site. But using the hook and the insertion here, you can specify different header tags if necessary, depending on the section of your site. Choose the route that works best for your setup. Next, you now have to deploy the body tags. You only have the div IDs, and all you need to do if you're using Add Inserter, deploy the div ID. Specify the section or the pages where you want this ad to show up and insert wherever you want it on the page. If everything looks good, go ahead and save. Do the same for the rest of the div IDs. Grab another tab here or block, paste it, specify where you want it to show up. How about when you use advanced ads? 
Once you have this plugin activated, this is another option if you don't want to use Add Inserter. Click on New Add. Give it a name. Choose Plain Text and Code. And if you are using Add Exchange hard coded tags, again, implement the codes that's already converted to async and paste it in here. Specify the size. Let's say this one is 970 by 250. Set the display conditions and visit our conditions as necessary. Once that's done, you can go ahead and publish. As soon as you choose the placement here, it will then be saved and should show up on your site. Do the same for the rest of your tags, depending on how many ad units you're running. And lastly, you will have to deploy this one line of script before the closing body tag. So if you're using advanced ads, go to ads again, click on new ad, and let's say this is your TC script. Still choose plain text and code. Paste the code in here or tag. Set any conditions if applicable. But if you want it to show up across all devices, all platforms, all pages, you can go ahead and skip those. And then publish. And this time, because again, this is going to be deployed before the closing body tag in advanced ads, you can choose this one the footer code. What about if you're running Google Ad Manager tags? So deploy your header tag first. Click on new ad in advanced ads. Let's call this GAM header for now. Plain text and code and paste the code in here. Specify display and visitor conditions as necessary. Then go ahead and publish. And this time you are going to choose the header code. As soon as you click that, it will go live on your site in the header section. How about your body tags? So grab the first div, again, new ad, give it a name. Let's say this is going to be your sidebar bottom unit, plain text and code, get the div ID, specify the size, and again, set display and visitor conditions as necessary. Publish. And since this is now your body tag, that means you need to specify where you want this ad to show up on the page. Before content, content after, choose the best option. Once you click it, it will go live. Do the same for the rest of your div IDs. So if you have more div IDs, you're gonna have to click new ad again and follow the same process. Next, let's go ahead and go to Settings, Head and Footer Code. If you don't want to use any of those two plugins that we discussed previously, like Add Inserter or Advanced Ads to deploy your header tag, you can also use this one. You can deploy your head code in here. And for the script, especially for hard-coded Ad Exchange or AdSense, wherein you have to deploy a script before the closing body tag, you can deploy that in here as well, in site-wide footer code. But you cannot use this plugin for your ad units or your body tags that would actually serve the ads. So this only applies for your closing body tag script and this one for Google Ad Manager tag in the header, which can go here in the head code. So you will still have to use a plugin like Ad Inserter or Advanced Ads to deploy your divs or your Ad Exchange and AdSense tags. That concludes our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates on our latest videos. See you next time.